All right, let's start it up. We are back another game of Deceive Inc. We're playing Red here today. We're back with her weapon two, her 20, 30 weapon, 20 to the body, 30 to the head. And the reason we're doing this, we kind of just did this, but I really wanted to kind of uh, group a couple videos here together. So we did aces like carbine. It's a 20, 30. Um, we did, uh, then we did Hans. There we go, finally. Um, Hans weapon 2, also 20-30 in the ADS mode. Has that little bit of advantage of, uh, <laughs> of the uh, hip fire shotgun, but, you know. And that's actually a good pickup, because that means we can go to the other side of this. Um, and then we have reds, also a 20-30 weapon here. Difference between this one and aces is solely, like, the sole difference is that uh, this one fires faster. The Hans one, of course, has its own hip fire rate and also has, uh, um, it also has 10 shots before you have to reload, but both aces and reds have only eight. Um, and I'm not sure about the fire rate. I'm pretty sure Hans is a slightly different fire rate as well. So, yeah, but still 20, 30. So they're pretty comparable weapons, in my opinion. Um, so that's kind of what we're doing. Uh, since we did just do this, I kind of switched up the expertise and passive. And when we're comparing weapons as similar as the ones we're trying to talk about here, I think the weapon, the passives really do matter. Uh, passives and expertise, of course, since the weapons are very similar. Um, so here we're just taking Red E1, the very standard charm ability. Charm being possibly the most complex uh, status effect in the whole game. So we're going to talk about it while I walk to a thing. Um, and I'll do my best to explain it. But basically, you to send out this cone. And uh, that's a player, I think. You send out a cone. The cone puts them in a charm status effect. Oh, yeah, that's that's a lot of walking. Um, hi. Oh, boy. Everyone falls for it. Okay. Um, so you send out a cone. The cone puts them in a charm state as well as putting them back in cover. And it puts you back in cover. So when someone's in a charmed state, what that means is pretty much that... Uh, no, there we go. There is someone in here. Nice. Doug, come. Doug, you need to take like half a step close to the door, buddy. Come on. Just for me... For... Doug's about to get slapped. <laughs> I don't have time for this though. That was I tried my best, but like So when they're in that charm state they they're neutralized meaning they can't use their expertise and they're slowed, which is just slowed. That's a pretty easy one. Um, that's kind of the easy part, it's pretty, you know, easy to think about that. But then it has an extra effect where if they break their own cover when they're charmed, they affect they lose charmed, but they get heartbroken. So heartbroken is its own effect. That's what makes this so complex. It's kind of two things. Uh, <laughs> but so heartbroken is when uh, you, you're vulnerable or yeah, you are vulnerable, but <laughs> you neutralize still, meaning you still can't use your own expertise, but you're also vulnerable, meaning you're taking about 25% bonus damage just from um, having broken your own cover while charmed. So it's a heartbroken is an incredibly strong ability. Um, Muscles? Or status effect, and you should really try to avoid it at all costs. At least, well, we're red, so we're giving it and don't have to worry about it. But yeah, quite strong. And playing around this charm and heartbroken effect is really a lot about playing red and also playing uh, against red. Okay. It's knowing what to do against this very powerful ability. Um, so we also then have our passive. Three, I believe it is. I forget the exact number. Um, I believe it's three. It's always in the description. And what this passive will do is whenever anyone gains heat within 60 meters of us or is being scolded um, along with some other little things, um, but mostly the heat thing um, will get a trace on them. So they get notified that they're getting traced. We get notified that they're being that they just got heat and some other, you know, or they're being scolded. A couple things that trigger that. Someone was in here, but didn't go in there. That seems odd. 
Okay, well. In the interest of speed, we're gonna hold shift all the way to the vault here. And by that I mean we're definitely slowing down to look behind us for a moment. I didn't see any other guards heading this way at all. Could have gambled there. The only thing we're missing is a blue key card, which is kind of annoying. And by that I mean... Oh, of course, the one time it's a purple. Um, come on, Doug. Oh, nice work, Dougs. Why is it... How did that work? Oh, I can hack this one. That's not too bad. Get this four right here as payment for that. Maybe even that two. I'm pretty sure all these Dougs are the ones who just let me in, so I'm not... Too worried about looking a sus in front of them. Though that cornering there was terrible. Grab one of these, head in. They're a joke. Start it up. And we'll have to hunt down some more intel while we're in here. Our passive hasn't gone off yet, which is a little weird, but I guess we just weren't really near anyone. One thing that it's really good at detecting is Larsons using passive 3. If they hit an NPC just to spy check, they get heat, and that'll trigger our passive, and we just get to trace them essentially for free. Um, it's quite good at that. Not that I saw, I like, a large number of Larsons in this lobby or anything, but I think it's worth bringing up. There we go. Uh, now we just... Hey, that's a Hans or a Chavez? I didn't get a great look. But it's also pretty good on this map because 60 meters is decently far but the way this one you know this vault works is it's a lot of vertical um and like 60 meters vertical is pretty far um yeah there's a shop that's fighting someone or something that may be guards but interesting that's a that looked like a license to me we ch are just walking because I want to try to get all the way out of here without pinging, if I can. Looks like we can just... Oh boy, I want to hold this for a moment. Alright. We apparently missed him because obviously we didn't get the thing. Alright, we didn't get the neutralize on him, and that's why he was able to poof, though we actually did miss there, which is a bit unfortunate. We can probably just sit. Um, yeah, there's one person, it's a Hans. So we can just sit and heal normally here. I might not even go out this door, because honestly, this door kind of sucks to go out. Um, just because it leads to, like, that middle area of the vault, and you don't get a ton of options by doing that. So given that we only see one person... Which we still only see. Well, I didn't see anyone there, but given I'm still believing there's only one person, we're gonna call a little audible and change our play here. We mostly were just hunting down that Larson, but I much prefer to leave via uh, these side ones. Because they lead to the sides, um, and, you know, it's a little bit harder to cover a side. Maybe it's not, but... <laughs> Um, this leads to, like, this back room instead of out into that front room. Okay, that doesn't look like a Hans anymore, though. That looks... Yeah, maybe it does. Are they coming this way? They are coming this way. See, this going out this way gives us this back room to play around with, and there's a lot that can be done here. There's four intel, seven intel we just saw. Um, we can go at the top, we can go at the bottom. Just being back here gives you a lot of options to use. Whoa! Wow. <laughs> I I didn't even step away that time. Alright, let's trigger the ping heading back this way so it looks like the ping didn't really move. Come on. Yeah, put that right back there. Um, if I had spyglass, this would be pretty easy. Let's make sure those are on, actually. That's all the way back from when I killed the Octo. Um... Not really necessary to use the charm on a Hans if we're fighting from range. Jeez, this is very touchy today. We're just gonna head on out. I'm gonna turn right. Ooh, okay. That's fine, though. Because it did slow us. Those were the Hans' tripwires. We can just call A because we're so far. We may not get out 
but this will give us a stance or a spot he has to run to. We just have to know which way he's going, which appears to be that way. We can throw some goo pods. Oh, he's coming up. Let's toss one up here. He may have seen us there. And we will also put one down here. So his long range gun is actually better than ours. Oh, he's at one. There we go. And there we go. Make good use of the goo pods that increase that like speed, that distance we got. Made sure he couldn't get to us without us just peppering him with shots. Use the package vision to make sure we know who we're shooting the right person. And well, Hans's ADS does actually have good long range options. So did we and we made it happen. Let's try this again for game two and I'll see you guys right there. All right, we're back with our red game two 2030 weapon. Yeah, that was a good intro. <laughs> Um, definitely got all the wor words out in the right order. Um, right, spawned up in the tennis courts, but there's never any intel. So we just get to run a lap, look at all the food we can't eat, and head down. It's been a little minute. I took a little break between game one and game two, which means probably all my skill has drained. So the first few shots are going to be warm up. Um, did anyone spawn in here? I feel like no one should have spawned in here if I spawned right up there. Although... Okay, we're probably good. Maybe. Um, probably. Okay. Definitely have time for this. Nice. Alright. Yeah, this someone looks just like me. And... Hi, someone's on their break. Don't mind if I do. I was hoping for more than one intel in all of these rooms, but hey. We'll take whatever we can get. We could go to A, because there's always fights near A, and we have the passive that lets us see fights in this person. Let's make sure our gun remains loaded. Over to A. Okay, well, someone was definitely here. That looks like some weird movement there, but I am not sure one way or the other. That's... nope, that's not a thing. Okay. Everything's still intact in here that I can see, I like that ammo. So let's head up to the purple room. We're in a purple disguise, so like this isn't the most sus thing ever. If I could get... Oh, right. I'm an elite guy. There's a Doug social point right here, but you have to be actual Doug. It doesn't work on elite guards. All right. There we go. And not bad at all. In the A, we had, didn't really get much of a... F I mean, we got one, but I went to A for some fights and for a passive to do some work. And we didn't get either of those by A. Obviously, our, we did get A fight so far, but... I feel like that wasn't a player who just walked across there. Because... Why would it be after I was literally the loudest person ever? Let's make sure our gun remains loaded. That's going to be a constant thing this game, apparently. Ow. Just bonked my knee off that, like, bench thing. I need a green. There's one over here. This one's all tucked away in the bathroom here. It's kind of interesting. Are you going in? Probably. Right. There's no box in this room. This gives us... Oh, okay. Okay, I didn't get caught in the door. That's the important thing. We can keep playing the game. Um, and let's head on up. Kind of a quiet game, considering we were at A. 
I'm guessing that's not a player, given they're not walking to the nearest vault door. Um, but I wouldn't be surprised if we were a little late. So I'd also need intel to even get a printer started, unless I'm going to find somebody's. Yeah. Are we going to find... We totally are. That's them right there. Did they just abandon it? Or are they just... Nope, they got it. Shoot. Um, I don't know how my cover got broken. But it did. Okay. Uh, we're gonna break the other one of those, because I don't really care about it. Alright, the only key card we got this game happened to be the gold. And there's nothing wrong with that. Hey, we just doubled our key cards. I do want a bit more intel. I'm hoping for just a tiny bit more, even. I'd like 10. Green thing. All right, green light means go. All right, we kind of want to leave the vault quickly because we don't have a blue key card, which means if we get kind of caught in here, we can't retreat very nicely. I don't like going out four or three, but maybe we go out four. Pop up here. I think we'll probably ping down here, which is a bit unfortunate. But I think that was a Lyson. Did we just see that? Right? Make sure these are on, unlike against the Sasori there. That was a little awkward. Um, this is going to ping like right as we exit. Okay, two people we're playing against? Yeah. Oh, they're both above me. All right, this gives us time to get some intel. We saw four here, we saw four there. Oh, whoa! They're like right next to each other. If they're good, that doesn't really mean anything because they won't fight, but we can get some intel here. Did I see tripwires there? I'm pretty sure I saw tripwires in that room. I'm gonna have to do some strange jumps as like just in case i'm quite worried about getting caught here yeah these two don't seem to be fighting which is like the right move by them all right blue key card here is actually a big pickup because now if we need to go backwards we can trip wires none okay i'm kind of just hoping to start a fight they're definitely aware i'm coming out this way not really revealing themselves. I think the Lyson just poofed, actually. I'm stuck. Not great. I, I'm i trying to, like, get on this Hans without him knowing, but it's just not happening. <laughs> I keep getting stuck on random stuff because I'm trying to walk, like, backwards so I can keep an eye on him. And like okay, that's important um, okay. that license there let's ping here that's next ping is gonna be a bit annoying but I think we are trying to just speed our way over. <laughs> that person is horrible. Probably shouldn't have accidentally jumped there, but we did. Get this called, get this changed. Oh. Okay. 
Okay, there we have it. And a kiss to get us back in cover at the end. And, well, we handle all those situations pretty well. That's the Soy didn't really know what was coming. The Hans didn't have time to turn him out. And while the Larson had to pop his expertise in the goo pod, just kind of kept him away and gave us a chance to heal, which we probably didn't really need. And then our uh, actual passive there allowing us to get Trace around the corner there. Not totally sure why. He was probably getting scolded by somebody, maybe, or gained heat. And uh, allowed us to land all those shots. And then there was also a fourth person we killed who I have already forgotten. Nope, it's gone. I don't know who it was, but <laughs> pretty good game overall. So like the video if you enjoyed. Comment on your thoughts as always. Subscribe if you're really receiving content like this. And I will see you in the next one.